Oh, girl. Wait, I think we might need the fan. I think we might need the fan, too. Wait. Okay, because there's a lot of topless people. Welcome back to a story worth telling. Hiya. Hiya. I'm trying to just get like the joy in now because it's going to disappear very, very quickly. It can only go up from here. Mmm, can it? Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. Yes, we're on the penultimate. We're on the penultimate episode of Fellow Travelers. You know, last time we had LSD. Did we? I dropped acid. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. We had secret affairs in log cabins. Uh, well, no, they just jerked off together, if you remember. There was no... Well, is that an affair? I think probably yes. Mutual masturbation, I think, would still count. You think so? Yeah. In a court of law. <laughs> in a... <laughs> and we had Lucy dishing out the, the tea. Yeah, she was like... How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> but it's a great show, and if you want to see all our reactions to it, I know we haven't actually made it sound like it's a great show. <laughs> it's a fantastic show. It's the but show, it is a fantastic it's the show. show of the moment. The show of the year. Really? Yeah. You think so? You said that last time, and I had to... You had to explain to me that. Yeah. Check out our Patreon, um. because that's really good. <laughs> and um, we've got the full reactions there and we also just released a new tier so woo 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 and if you haven't seen go buy our merch because our merch is out now and there's lots of things we're not actually wearing it because you know <laughs> we should be wearing we it we should be wearing well, it well yeah you can go browse the things the yeah. for everyone alright the last one was the 60s 70. no now we're in the 70s pride Harvey Milk oh shit been shot. Oh, God, yeah. This was the catalyst, I think, though. This was the moment in which, you know, it takes, it unfortunately takes an assassination for people to be like, nah, -uh, that's it. I don't like to think that that's true, but maybe I, it is kind of well, true I, no, at the same time. I'm not saying I, like, I'm not saying it should be true, and I'm not saying I like I like to think that. What I'm saying is history has shown us that. That people wake up and listen. Yes. If something really bad In happens. racial equality, in LGBTQ equality, those those moments in history have happened in which someone has had to unfortunately been killed for the movement to really take effect. And I think it's it's a sad truth, but it's also like you know, you you do kind of wonder if you ha if you hadn't if you hadn't had to face the reality of those people dying, <clears throat> would 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 it be would it have made such an impact? Would we have fought as hard for it? And it's it's a, I think it's an interesting question because I think you could spend hours debating it. Or is it that we just we focus on those events when we look back in time because they are so shocking, and actually they did they weren't like the the pivots upon which the movement progressed. It was more that this was a horrendous thing that happened at the same time that people were fighting for rights. And because it's so on the nose, we tend to report on it. And... Fire Island's a ferry right away. If White gets Fire me... Island! Here we fucking go. I need you holding on to him. Like you hold on to Marcus? At least Marcus and I sleep in the same bed. Most of the time. Someone named Tim Laughlin? <gasps> Tell him, to Tell him to go f himself. <laughs> Two months ago, I gave Hawk an ultimatum. Do something about his drinking or find somewhere else to live. I want to see him. Are you asking for my permission? Maybe. He is in trouble. I love her. She is so, so I think that was me. a, that's my permission. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, girl, she is on one. Whose hand is that? Is that his hand? <laughs> I don't think that's his hand. That's not his hand. <laughs> you can take off whatever you like. Right. Oh, Welcome to Fire awesome. Island, everyone. <laughs> Always wanted to go. I think I'd have a great time. I know you'd have a great time. I'm not sure you'd come back. You'd want to stay forever. We could do a story worth telling remotely. 
Well, you'd want to vlog it, I, don't, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're gonna need another Patreon tier just for that shit! <laughs> We're gonna need an OnlyFans just for that shit. I wasn't sure if you'd take me up on it. So, how long has it been since you two have seen each other? This is gay paradise. But when we leave Oz and go back to the good old US of A, we take off our ruby slippers. And deepen our voices. Oh, so that? gay. <laughs> Shh. hates the G word. Gay. I prefer homosexual. Ooh, interesting. It implies we're suffering from an illness that needs to be cured. I have clients who have been sent to psych wards given electroshock therapy. At least we chose the word gay for ourselves. We're also dissecting, like, really the the meaning behind labels. Mm. And to have a conversation like that as early as the <clears throat> 70s is quite interesting. Because nowadays that almost was like a conversation that only people, you know, would, would be speaking about now. Like, what it means to label yourself as gay and where terms like homosexual come from and stuff. And even I haven't really considered that kind of thinking behind <clears throat> behind that. As, I, I, I would never identify as a homosexual well, unless, no. unless it, I was making a joke. But, but I... But... Which is strange. What I, what I take away from this scene is that Tim is comfortable in his sexuality and Hawk isn't. Yes. That's what I take away. And that... But Hawk is choosing the clinical term. Jackson died about six months ago. Oh, fuck. Heroin overdose. Oh, fuck! Oh, see, don't you want to go to Fire Island? Look at how beautiful it is. That's okay. just the sea. Yeah. You can't go look at how beautiful Fire Island is. <laughs> Looking at the sea. The it could sea. be. It could be any sea <laughs> anywhere. Oh. 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 Hello. See, now you want to go. Whoa, to me too. <laughs> It's like Jurassic Park. Why? It's, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're gonna have to blur some shit right here. <laughs> Let's blur a lot of shit. Did he say this is like going through church? You you look you look and you don't talk. That's what he was saying. Like a church. It is it's like a reverent. I think that's spirit. rather beautiful, you know. Worshipping the body. <laughs> no but like, okay, yes, there's a lot of nudity going on and I know everyone's a bit like, whoa. But actually, just thinking about what those words, that's a rather beautiful thing. Because we had so many episodes of this like of seeing what church is in the traditional sense of like and the pain that it brought characters like Tim to have to deny oneself in a place of worship. And then to compare and experience of sexual freedom being able to be among men in the similar sense to how one had to be in a place of worship but actually it's something the opposite of restricting your identity but actually embracing your identity that's beautiful that's a beautiful little like kind of arc to the Hawk story that, well maybe that's even better though i want to put the deed in your name what why you want to what you can't just give me your house why not? Why is he doing this? Is this like, a, is this like an himself. apology? But Hawk was oh. always like that. Oh. No. That's what it sounds what like. You're settling you... your affairs. Your wife said she doesn't know where you are. You talk to him. Skippy, I need you. And when are we going to talk about Jackson? No. You don't. You don't. Oh, he's in a dark, dark, me. dark place. I just, Tim he... deserves better than that. But I think in a fr in like a friend in any like version of a relationship that they have. Okay, but the thing is, it's a very interesting relationship that they have in the sense that in the first couple of episodes, Hawk was so the other side of it. He was the person trying to help Tim. Kind of, you know, Tim was erratic. Tim was like, I can't do this, and this is, and I want this, and I want that, and Hawk was like, and now the wheels reverse. I feel like he thinks he owes him the right to be able to. Be, be his support and try and help him through things because now Hawk is the person who cannot fucking, you know, sort his 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 senses right. Mm, that was being nosy. The drugs you give Hawk, you know you could kill him. If I don't give him a couple of seconds all at night, he takes four or five. It is the same with the coke. I try to take care of him. I do the best I can. 
sounds really bad, but I can see his point of view. It's why I feel like a lot of people don't always understand like how people who are seriously struggling with drug problems can't always understand like other people in 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 those situations and how they're trying to like help manage that. But isn't it great for Tim to come in and look at it objectively and go, "This is bad." Maybe, but then it's like, do you, do you, you know, is is the wake up call something that is going to help or is it going to work or is it going to make them worse in the the short term? Like, it's so difficult because... Probably neither, because there's there's nothing he can do here. There's nothing he can do. Not really. You know, it, it kind of calls back to a lot of like especially in the gay community right now, the the drug scene, because there are people who can enjoy using recreational drugs and it's it's not an issue, but there is also a lot of issues with chemsex right now and the problem that that's having on the gay community. And there are tons of people ex- engaging in it. And we sometimes, looking a bit outwardly from it, can't necessarily go, you're doing wrong and come out of that because you don't understand the situation that's got person in there, what they're doing it for, the reasons they're kind of having it, the people around them who maybe actually are also being a huge support network to them. And while drugs are involved, it's not necessarily the things, like you can't always judge something outwardly as going, that's bad. And those are bad people around you and influences because there are so many factors. I think it is endemic. It's embedded within yeah. gay culture in like city living to a certain extent. And you're right, there are there are a plethora of reasons why people might choose to adopt that kind of lifestyle. Weird that it's gay culture specific. Well, there's a lot of reasons why it is gay culture specific because we still, even though we sit here and we go, oh, it's 2023 and we have all these rights, there's a lot of shame still. There's a lot of hurt in our community. And that gets expressed in various ways. And nowadays we're seeing it through drug use and all that. And, you know, and it's not something that we need to be surprised about. And it's also not something that we, as people who are not engaging in that, can necessarily go, you're in the wrong. You need to stop doing that. Because we have no idea what individuals are going through when they decide to go, hey, you know what? I need to take drugs to get through this. You know, if you're worried about someone, then the best kind of course of action, I think, is to advise them to go through uh, sort of like rehabilitation. Speak to someone. Sp- speak to someone, speak you know. Someone. Because people, there are so many people who are, can work with, especially gay people who are going through drug problems and, and kind of fit and help that, and they will be able to advise. And things like therapy are a huge, you know. One of us. Oh, girl. Wait, I think we might need the fan. I think we might need the fan, too. Wait. Okay, because there's a lot of topless people. And I, I, you know what I'm like. I think I think we're off to the meat rack. Oh. Oh. Or the rack. We're off to see the meat rack, the wonderful meat rack of Fire Island. There's something quite beautiful in the sense that they never got to do this all those years ago. And it's actually quite beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna go out, let's go out. You wanna go out? Yeah. Nice. Get your glad rags on. What's a glad rag? Like a party outfit. Oh. Help center. I wanna talk to someone now. I know. I know. Please. Take a seat. I'll try. Takes a lot of bravery to walk into a place like that and ask for help. Hugely. And, done. and what's a testament to the way in which we're watching history pass as time goes on is that every decade or so, younger people find the strength and the courage and the bravery to do it. Because that is something that we would have never seen Tim or Hawk probably do at that age. This verdict is a travesty. Oh. Dan White was convicted of manslaughter. I saw what Dan White's bullets did. It wasn't manslaughter. It was murder. But you see, but about when you got the catalyst, mm. here we go. What are you doing here? I came to walk you home. I'm going downtown with everybody else. You are a big chocolate gay man. The kids in the background there. Come on, Marcus, you can... This is his moment now. This is it. Yeah, we, this is the thing. Pride is very different to what Pride yeah. was back then, right? We go out to Pride now for a good time and we forget that actually it's still a fight. But back then, that is that is a moment of, like, 
of revolution of going to yourself, I can do this and I can admit it to myself, but I can also fight for it mm-hmm. and I can be br- like, it's huge. But it's this people like Frankie who I think made the difference and paved the way for people like us to sit here and go, hey, let's review LGBTQ representation because if it wasn't for people like Frankie, we wouldn't be here today. Mm. We're standing on the shoulders of people like yeah. Frankie. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to shablam that fan? I feel like it does have a shablam. Shablam! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I made a I guess he's a moderator. What is going on? What is going on? Oh. <laughs> I'm all for threesomes. Very good. But get out of there. Not toxic ones. Fan. Fan. Please do no. this for me. This isn't healthy, I don't think. Get in there. <laughs> What? It's like a, he's like coaching him it's through like, it. Come on, you got this. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! What did you do? Oh, I shit. wanted to see him. What did you do? I wanted to know you. What I wanted you to see him. See him. No fucking <laughs> I will fucking kill you! Stop. Oh my god! Okay! Whoa! You know what? We all need to have a cold shower and just cool off. Uh, I think we need the police. Oh, oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. You can't be my boy's dead. He's dead. Oh baby. Can you die? Please let me down. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh wow, that took a fucking turn. Oh wow. That scene was wild. That scene summarises the complexity of like... What the fuck? Of gay, like, trauma and shame. Like, the starting of like, using sex as a way of like trying to numb the pain or get through things in an unhealthy way. <clears throat> and then the realities of like facing it. Ugh. And I it's didn't like free. that at all. No, I didn't, I didn't like it. We still, we've seen so much sex in this show, right? And it has always been a kind of a thrilling thing to watch. And that was like a, a, it was painful to start with. And then the floodgates opened and it was like, okay, no, we're going to deal with our, we're going to deal with our pain. We're going to deal with our trauma. But also like <sighs> Lucy's lost the kid too. But she, she's... she's the one who stayed and like is pushing through and dealing with that whole thing in her own way. But no single one person's trauma is the same. Brilliant example. Our flag means death when we're talking about the, I see your tra- trauma and I know it's not the same as mine, but I accept it, mm. that it's real. Everyone deals with it in a different way. Right, should we dive in straight into a protest? <laughs> That'll cheer us up, won't it? I guess this is real footage. Man, you're a generation. You're afraid to tell the truth. I just, I can't live like that. Maybe I wasn't marching in the streets for gay rights. But I've loved the man for 20 years and lived with the consequences. Do you have any idea what fucking courage that takes? Fuck. Mm. 
Fuck, you know. Okay, well. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Just before that happened, that conversation was the perfect sum up to everything we have spoken about in every single one of these reactions. Yeah. Is two generations going, whoa, hang on a minute. Like, let's have a conversation about this because while you may think that you're braver or different to my generation, the pain has been the same. The struggle has been the same and we did what we had to do. And that was a conversation that I feel like had been in the making since mm. the first episode. And it, I just felt so like, yes, we are finally, we're finally hearing what we have been discussing the entire time. And that's like summarizes the show beautifully. And then to have it interrupted with, uh, God. If the baby's a boy, don't I'd like to name him Jack. Ah. Uh. We don't know why people become addicts. He knew. He always knew I was lying about everything. Hawk, you have to stop trying to kill yourself. Your family needs you. Don't you need me, Skippy? Well, now they know. No what? We're not gonna lie down and take it anymore. You're beautiful. <laughs> to Harvey. To Harvey. Harvey. To Harvey. To Harvey. To Harvey. We think we've won our freedom, that we're liberated. And then something like this happens and you realize that to many people in this country, our lives are worthless. There will be people that will say, you must get over him if you want to be happy. And they will be right. But it will also be the stupidest thing anyone ever says to you. Bloody gays are so wise. So bloody wise. It's just a little morning pick me up. Uh. Where are you going? What is wrong with me? Skip me. No. What is wrong with this? This is not about you. Why can I not stop believing anything you say? Go on. Fucking die. Your wife and your daughter have already buried a son and a brother, and they're gonna have to bury you. But you don't care because you're so fucking selfish. You've wasted all this time. <gasps> Carrot and stick. Here's the stick. My life on you. Don't go. No. Fuck. Don't go. Shit. I'm done with you. I'm free. Always, no matter how much you try, the person themselves has to see the worth on their life and what they're worth living for. Yeah. You can't make, you can't. It has to be them. It has to be them. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I feel like I haven't laughed in about 20 minutes. Um, it's a pretty shit sign. <laughs> so, oh, I can't, I can't. <sighs> this is not a time for laughing. No. We miss you. Sweetheart. I'm coming home. Mm. I'm afraid Tim has had another seizure. What do you mean? How bad is it? It was severe, but they were able to pull him out of it. He's in his room. They are life partners, like, yeah. They are Holy shit. That was really, really hard to watch. That was the most difficult. And also just the end there kind of made me think, you know, we have been through, we have suffered so much as a community. A decade, one decade, we're fighting for our rights and streets. The following decade, we're dying of a disease that is like sweeping through our community. Like, so much suffering. Oh, God. I'm really, I'm actually really enjoying how popular this show is. That's what, yeah, because because it is, it isn't an easy watch, and there's a lot going on. So I feel like a lot of people might be turned off by a show like this, 
but it has been popular and people have really got behind it. But I think it's, it's I think awesome. that's part of like the beauty of being like getting behind this show is not just a I like watching TV. It's a I respect and I I I value the retelling of our history. Us, I want to I want to learn. Yeah, learn us watching this show and kind of seeing oh look at LGBT representation is also a in a very kind of like of the fifties a salute you know to. To, to saying, oh, we see you. Well, that's we it. do gay shit, and this is good shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is good shit. This is good gay shit. One episode left. I don't know whether the finale is going to try and turn into some kind of... There, there'll probably be a montage, let's be honest. There's going to be a montage. Well, there should be. Through time. Like... It's going to yeah. be a montage. Oh, God, I'm I gonna cry. hate montages. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Last episode, coming soon... Um, if you haven't watched the series until this point, then obviously go see all the other videos to this reaction. And then plenty of other shows that we do on this channel as well. So yeah. go check those out. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, we hope that you're finding this show to be as... Gripping. And we hope you, 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 you well. haven't found this entire video to be, you know, just a big cry fest. Because even though it is, we like to think that, that there's okay some... okay too. Yeah, it's okay to cry. Alright, thank you for watching. See you soon. <laughs>